Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. We have uh, an important information to pass across. We understand that uh, there is an emergency that is happening along the Alausa on the bridge side where a gas plant is on the fire. We do uh, will update you on this uh, re recent uh, fire incident and of course the gas plant on the fire along the Alausa on the bridge side axis. So we'd like to warn motorists to, uh, you know, have a, you know, deviation away from that part so that uh, the fire services can move in as quickly as possible to uh, attend to that very troubling situation. But we're still keeping our focus on the farmers' herdsmen clash and the situation in Adamawa State. And we've been joined by the um, uh, Commissioner of Information, Adamawa State, Mr. Ahmed Sajo. I want to thank you so much indeed for coming. Thank you very much. At this time. You've heard this You've seen the scenario. You've seen how every uh, aspect of it has played out to this time. What's your impression? What do you think is happening now that it seems to have uh, moved from Benue to your state, Adama? It's sad and uh, it's disheartening, it's disturbing, and it's not in anybody's interest. Uh, in fact, I, I, I feel sad that I had to leave my sick bed to come here just to discuss killings. I would have loved to come here and discuss more positive things because there are very many positive things taking place. But again, here we are discussing killings. And uh, let me say, you know, Benway was over-dramatized. That's why you are you mentioning the fact that it's moving from Benway to my state. I think it's, uh, it's across board. And uh, we've, to a large extent, uh, tried to manage the drama aspect of the killings because... In my state, you know, the, the killings and counter killings have had more casualties than even in Benue. But we've not over dramatized <coughs> it. We've tried to contain it. And uh, right now, as I'm talking to you, we, we're taking the next uh, very positive steps. We, we, we've started the community dialogue with support from agencies like uh, Search for Common Ground, uh, you know, at the community level. To, to get to know the, the, the feelings of the people at community levels because in most cases we discuss those of us that are at the top, you know, at, at very, very huge government offices with very big at, at holes where we all are neatly dressed discussing issues that affect ordinary people in the villages who do not even understand the language we use. Just give me a second or yeah, two. Yes, I'll, sir. I'll allow you to continue with your yes, sir. thoughts. We'll go on a short break. We'll be back after these messages. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Uh, let's quickly go to Abuja now. Malpe has a question. Yes, Mr. Sajjan, you've said three times now, if I hear you clearly, uh, talking about managing the drama that has come with what has happened in Benue. What precisely did you mean by the drama? Yeah, uh, thank you. I think it's, it's what, what I mean by the drama is that we, 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 we played so much emphasis. We made it, we made it you know, we, we, the narrative was repeated over and over and over and over instead of being managed. In my state, something similar happened. We all sat down. We, 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 we controlled by this, the, 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 the flow of information to the extent that we were able to get the parties that were responsible to begin to understand each other, to sit with each other. And like I said, you know, before uh, the, the break, it was that we, 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 are, we are beginning to take it to the next level, to speak at community level, to try to understand the, the people who are concerned directly beyond just those of us that are in our offices in Abuja, Yola, and other places. We're looking at the community at community level. We've got partners that are helping us go to the community levels. Sancho, we want to understand these people here, at their own community uh, some level. Some people will ask if this, if this crisis has been framed properly. For instance, we've been talking about farmer herders clash. Uh, but in, some, in many instances, we've not seen farmers and herders go to war. That's not what we've seen. What we've seen is communities being raided in the middle of the night. Uh, you know, most times the people are sleeping and these people come in and they kill, you know, without let or without any conscience whatsoever. And, you know, we, we don't hear that there has been 
an incident before that time or that there was actually a communal confrontation as we would hear in the past maybe you know something that we would read in, in novels what is currently going on is it would seem an invasion of some sort and it's not clear whether this is you know herders local herders we've heard you know certain except that this could be from people who are coming from outside of the country or even from militias rented mercenaries we do not know precisely how this crisis you know if this crisis has been framed correctly so when you talk about drama and getting the people responsible are you being fair to the people of benway i'm not taking on the people of benway please i am just saying that <coughs> The, 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 the extent of crisis in my state was far higher than what happened in Benway, but we were able to reduce the drama in it to the extent that we are, we are now beginning to understand uh, the causes and, and mitigate it. How, how do you quantify the extent of damage? I mean, are you looking at it in terms of the loss of lives or precisely how are you quantifying exactly. that? Exactly. You, you know, let us go back to the narrative of what happened in my state. Some people went to the farm. Uh, by my predecessor, my brother, John Gabsa, just told you. So people went to the farm and met two people who had been supposedly killed by herdsmen. They were not able to establish who killed them, wh which herdsmen. They went to a, a village that is predominantly occupied by Fulani people and killed over 50 people, mostly women and children, some as, as young as three days old. And then again, nothing happened. So somehow, while that was trying to be managed, the, 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 the other side also went on a reprisal uh, and killed over 50 people. You know, these are the kind of things that, that happened if the crises are not properly you know, managed. So what we, are, what, we are, what we are realizing from all of this is that where exactly are the failures of certain you know, structures of the system that could be used to mitigate future occurrence. Of course, you know, you would understand that if people find a dead body on the farm, they are supposed to report. If they report, it is the responsibility of the security agencies to act very promptly and at least apprehend those that are responsible. If they do that, there will be no no, 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 no further attacks. But if they take I'm those into curious. their hands could you, and could go you and just attack help others, us point out, that is you know, what cycle. precisely has been dramatic with the handling of what has happened in Benway? Hello? What is dramatic? I can hear you. <coughs> yeah? Yes, please. It's the, the way it's been handled. I'm just telling you the way it's been handled. They've killed so many people. The, we, we, have you seen mass burials in, 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 in Adamawa? We, 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 we've not allowed it to be like that. Have you seen people throwing you know, stones anyhow at, at each other? Have we seen this, this generic interpretation of uh, people? You, 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 you assume that a particular people, all of them are this religion or this ethnicity. You, another particular group are all of this religion. All of these things are just giving it very wrong interpretation. George Gamsa told you here just now that some of these people that we call herdsmen are not even known to belong to any particular you know, religious persuasion to, that, to the extent of you making it generic that every Fulani man is a Muslim and every other ethnic man is a Christian. I think these are all simplistic and they are, they are further compounding and aggravating the situation. 